Hello and welcome to the 2022 Huntington University School of the Arts Summer Academy Showcase. I'm Lucy Shurek. And I'm Caleb Vandenacker. Summer is often a popular time for studios to release animated features, but do you know what goes into creating an animated work? This week, students in the animation track tried their hand at various 2D and 3D projects. Let's take a glimpse at some of their creations. Documentaries come in all shapes and sizes. Film students had the opportunity to create 60-second documentaries of their own this week. Let's take a look at some of the topics they explored. My name is Sherilyn Ray Emberton. I'm the president of Huntington University. I want us to be the most faith-informed, faith-impactful institution in the United States. may sound lofty, but somebody's going to be number one. One of the misconceptions is that people think that small schools, sometimes you have to limit your options and it's just the opposite. At a small school, you're not prohibited from doing a lot of things. And I will tell you that for 125 years, the building you're in right now has stood. This is it. This is where it started. And so the people that gathered, and, and by when I read history, it was 1,200 1, people gathered outside this building and prayed over it. 
um, today, I think they would find us faithful. Huntington is a place where if you don't want to get involved, you probably shouldn't come. It's not a place where you can just be. It's a place where you become. I love that. We're making a movie! One of the reasons we chose The Wayfaring Stranger script is because it's actually uh, a true life story. It's based on my childhood. As a, as a child, I lived this story of my parents trying to unify these little country churches and the faith that it took to do that into a bigger church and the resources and I saw miracles happen. And then Glenn Frank was an actual miracle person that came into our lives. He came over for dinner every night. Everybody can relate to the story because I think all of us have a Glenn Frank in our life. Very few based on true life stories make it to screen or get filmed, right? So it's a blessing that that happened. It was really special actually to have, have the film done uh, on a story that I'm familiar with. My job is to make sure that my people have what they need to be able to take care of the faculty and staff and students here on campus. So my name is Marcy Nofziger and um, I am the Director of Facilities for the University. So that basically wraps up that I oversee all maintenance and janitorial. I worked in hotels for 12 years with a management company and the hospitality world is 24-7, seven days a week, such as the university world, but I was looking for something that would allow me to have a little family time. And I was really scared at the beginning, not knowing what I was getting into, and everyone was so welcoming and inviting and helped me learn the ropes of the university. That is what I take pride in, is that we're being hospitable and getting our jobs done. So, in your own words, how would you describe the city of Huntington? Home. So when I think about Huntington, I think about the tremendous potential. When you're a small city in a global economy, you know that there's things that you can't control. Uh, but what you can control is your response to those things. As we were all struggling through the stay-at-home order, uh, there was a, a plan that came to us from the Visitors Bureau uh, that was ultimately from a state grant to put in a giant downtown mural uh, right across the street from my office. The artist who did that mural, uh, she is a local artist, American Sorello, uh, who grew up here in Huntington. That led to other murals in town because you, once people see it's possible, then they realize we can have nice things too. Visual projects weren't the only thing students explored this week. Students in the radio and voiceover track experimented with a variety of audio-only projects. Here's Jameson Deaton with more. This week, students in the radio track got to hone some of their production skills by creating news and weather forecasts on Huntington University's radio station 105.5 WQHU FM. Let's check out some of their work. Hi, I'm Jamison and this is Forrester Radio News. This is your Forrester Radio News. And this is Forrester Radio News. An important holiday was celebrated last Sunday. Juneteenth Independence Day, also known as Emancipation Day or Freedom Day, is the remembrance of the end of slavery. The FDA wants to regulate the amount of nicotine in cigarettes and other tobacco products. Black Forest Cat Cafe had its grand opening on Friday, June 10th at 11 a.m. in Fort Wayne. You're listening to 105.5 WQHU Huntington. You're listening to 105.5 WQHU Huntington. You're listening to 105.5 WQHU Huntington. It's looking pretty hot today with a high of 88. Tomorrow will be a bit cooler than today with a high of 84. It's Tonight we will be getting down into the mid to high 60s. There's a 10% chance of rain. Here's to hoping that it does. Today's high is 89 and the low is 63. Definitely is a warm one. So stay hydrated and enjoy the sun. This is Kayla at Forrester Radio. You're listening to 105.5 WQHU.
Introducing the new Frisch's Craft Butcher Burgers, made with the Frisch's house-made premium beef patties, fresh, never frozen, seasoned and seared to order. Fresh, never frozen, seasoned and seared to order. Hand-cut produce and gourmet aioli on a soft potato bun. Hand-cut produce and gourmet aioli on a soft potato bun. Try the new Kraft Butcher Burgers in classic BLT or barbecue jack. What could a new smile do for you? Give you a boost of confidence? Express that vibrant personality? Or just make you happy? Transforming your smile at Braces 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 will get you shining like never before. And when you feel good about your smile, the rest comes naturally. So take a journey with us and discover your true smile. Braces Braces Braces. Schedule a free consultation at bracesbracesbraces.com. Animation students worked in multiple different mediums this week. Here's Kayla Brown reporting from Becker Hall with more. While you may think animation is only done with paper or digital drawings, there are additional ways of creating animated projects. This week, animation students got to experiment with stop motion and motion graphics. Here's a sample of their creations. <laughs> Over the past several days, student filmmakers spent some time behind the camera and in the Foley pit exercising their new skills. Here's Luke Runyon to tell us more. 
Hi, I'm Luke. Couches are a popular way to sit, but the couch's less pompous cousin, The Bench, was the real star of this week's film projects. Film and television students were tasked with creating short films centered around benches. Let's take a look at some of them. Radio wasn't the only thing students in the voiceover track learned this week. They also worked on podcasts, audiobooks, and other narrative projects. 
let's listen to some of their creative voice work. The bear was owned by a hunter and trapper named Brian Ledoon and had been fasting for four months. The open water of the bay kept the bears from catching seals, their favorite prey, and made the dog certain to end up as a meal. As the bear closed in, Hudson did the unexpected. Instead of fleeing in terror, he grinned, wagged his tail, and bowed to the bear in invitation. The bear's response was also unusual as he presented non-aggressive signals like enthusiastic body language. Let's play, was their language, as they abandoned their typical antagonistic attitudes. He waved his hands frantically to her and then vanished from the window so suddenly that it seemed to her that he had been plucked back by some irresistible force from behind. So, your school's having a science fair. Great! The science fair has long been a favorite educational tool in the American school system. And for good reason. Your teachers hate you. (laughs) No, seriously. Although science fair can seem like a big pain, it can help you understand important scientific principles, such as Newton's first law of inertia, which states, a body at rest will remain at rest until 8.45 p.m. The body will come rushing to the boy's parents, who are already in their pajamas, and shout, I just remembered! The science fair is tomorrow and we gotta go to the store right now! Hello, I'm Lucy and you're listening to my new podcast, Teens of 23. Today we'll be interviewing Adria. Hello, I'm Luke and this is Seriously Unfunny. On today's episode, we'll be discussing when comedy goes too far. Hi, my name is Kayla, and you are listening to Miss Bunky's podcast. Today, we will be diving deep into the three aspects of health and what resources around us can help us manage them. Hey, I'm Beatrice Gayen, and welcome to my podcast, Light the Lights. Just, well, this because podcast... Because the most, I pointed the microphone at his direction. And I'm not even going to argue with that, because no, it's because, true. Anyway, but squirrel, that's what we're calling this podcast. I thought it was pure or chaos. Pure chaos. Well, I mean, no, pure chaos is the descriptor used to describe what is going on. Is squirrel your is the descriptor. title, because what we all, all we do is chatter. Uh, like squirrel. That's, oh <laughs> and, my. and we're all nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> The counselors and faculty worked hard this week to help us learn and grow as artists and have an enriching experience. We're grateful that they shared their time, energy, and expertise with all of the campers. From all of us, thank you to all the parents, grandparents, and other influential adults for letting us explore a creative potential this week. Have a great evening and a beautiful summer. Thank you.